teachers and my dear friends a very warm welcome to all of you on this auspicious occasion as we bid farewell to the batch of 2011 i request thapyal ma'am to kindly light the diya to mark the beginning of today's function when you first entered Brighton's, where you spent countless hours, you experienced it all. Fun, school has over the years nurtured your talents, given you education, empowering you to reach your limitless potential. Now all you need to do is dare to dream to be all that you can be tomorrow. Dare to excel, dare to go the extra mile, dare to make your mark in the world. Dare to be the best you can be and their endeavors. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the sun shine bright on your window pane. May the rainbow be certain to follow each rain. May the hand of a friend. Now 
pastries and lilting music, the show will be a memorable evening. Now I hand over the mic to Anshit. Thank you, Siddhant. A very good evening to all. Um, at the outset, I would like to say that it gives me immense pleasure to be able to conduct this fair. Ravi sir, Tapyal ma'am, my colleagues, our very special guests for the evening, class 12 students, to whom I specially address this valedictory note, and of course, our hosts for the evening. From every bud, there blooms a flower. From a seed, an apple tree. In cocoons, a hidden promise. The butterflies will soon be free. A turning point in each of your lives, you've spent the past years walking in and out of the gates of this great school, and now it's time to leave. You've learned, laughed, loved, got into trouble, and most importantly, matured together. But this day just doesn't concern about reminiscing the past, it is about looking forward to a beautiful future. From here, most of you will go to college to further your knowledge and skills, away from the benevolent supervision of your parents and teachers. It will be a new phase in your lives wherein you will not be tended like a sapling and be offered your knowledge on a platter, but will draw your nourishment in learning through your own roots to grow into young, dynamic trees. Your freedom will confront you with choices at every step. You will instinctively know the right from the wrong, but very often temptation and often pressure from the peers may lead you astray. While self-discipline will take you onto the right course, steering you to exploit your potential to the fullest. You will be left to traverse the unmapped expanse, which will be your future. The present is a very interesting and stimulating time for our country. The economy is growing. We have plentiful young workforce. Lacking is the development of this prime human resource. Education and training in skills is the crying need of our time. You will therefore realize why your generation is so important to the well-being of India. Yes, indeed, there are challenges but so are there umpteen opportunities waiting for you. The recently concluded visits of Mr. Cameron, President Obama, President Sarkozy and the Chinese Premier speak volumes of India's economic potential and growth in the coming years. It is for you to fully measure up to this bonanza. Life affords no greater pleasure than that of surmounting difficulties, passing from one step of success to the other, forming new wishes and seeing them gratified. Your alma mater, in all its academic excellence, today stands shoulder to shoulder with the very best in the country and in its fullest sincerity has inculcated in you the very essential qualities of hard work, discipline and character that facilitate success. Till just half a decade ago, most Brightlanders were less outward bound and stayed back in their Radun to complete their graduation. Today, the scene has dramatically changed and it is indeed heartening to see our students in the best of Indian and international universities as top scholars. The world is yours for the calling children, so make the most of this foundation that the school has laid for you, coupled with the robust energy of youth. Your certification may be in your degree. You may think of it as a ticket to a good life. Let me th request you to think of an alternative. Think of this as an endorsement to contribute to the fabric of India in some way. And on this note, on behalf of all present here this evening, I wish the entire batch of class 12 the very, very best for their forthcoming board examinations. May God bless each one of you. Good evening, Honorable Ravi sir, Thapri and ma'am, my colleagues, and my dear young friends. 
Once again, the Brightlands family bids adieu and wishes all the very best to one of the gifted batches of class 12. Children, your school years have passed in a flurry of activities. It's hard to believe that the next few months will see the batch of 2011 facing new horizons and challenges. You are standing on the brink of a new chapter of your life. Fantastic opportunities beckon. So friends, a bright tomorrow awaits us. Let us get there by making the most of what we have today. Never be afraid to try. Never be afraid to dream. For you are like a bird that is just learning to fly. You may fall once, you may fall twice, but you will not fall always. However, you learn to fly. Remember children, the things taught in schools and colleges are not an education, but they are the means of education. Education is not a presentation of life, but it is life itself. Don't aim for success. If you want it, just do what you love and believe in and it will come naturally. So try not to become a man or a woman of success. Instead, try to become a man or a woman of values. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Don't go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. At the end, I will have to open the paper. Good evening, everyone. Dear students of class 12, ISC batch 2011, you are special, very special. It was in 1997 that our first 12th class batch got a farewell while you all joined the nursery in our school in that year of 1997. Since then, it will be 14 years actually in March 2011 that you would be in the school campus. You are the badge who we can say truly bred and brought up as a Brightlander. So a lot is at stake with your badge. Your behavior, your conduct, all will be a reflection of the values you've imbibed in the school. You are my dream badge. And I feel a sense of pride when I see you all look so graceful and dashing today. By the way, you all looked so beautiful years back when you came to your class nursery. And uh, many a times I would walk up to your class to sing a song also. Time flies at a rapid pace and the 14 years look like 14 minutes. But then the society, nation and the world needs you. And you, 128 strong Brightlanders, Carve a niche for yourself and spread the spirit of Brightlands that tough situations don't last forever, but tough people do. So here we are, everyone. It's now the turn of Brightlanders to be the guiding star for one and all. Hope you all remain safe and sound forever. Remain happy and contented wherever. God bless you. The very best of luck for your ISC exam and miss you so much. Thank you. I would now like to call upon Navita Khansial, ma'am, to share some of her invaluable thoughts with us. Upcoming exams and their future life too. I would also like to share some of my thoughts with them. Dear children, according to me, the glory of life can be summed up in just three words. Self-reverence, self-knowledge and self-control. An individual must know that there are no heights that he cannot scale 
There are no feats that he cannot perform and no triumphs that he cannot achieve. So you all should step out into the world with your head held high. That is what is meant by self-reverence, but that must be based in self-knowledge. This is when you say that a man must not overrate himself and yet know his power as well as potentials. And this is what you all also should know.